What's up, everybody? My name is Christian, and I am the Digital CCH. Welcome back to another installment of Techno Thursday. Today, we are going to show you how to install and track um, events in Google Analytics, um, as well as how to turn those events and track them as goals. Um, in a previous episode or installment, we showed you how to create your uh, GA4 property inside Google Analytics. Uh, I'm gonna try and show you both um, how to do this in the UA property as well as the GA4 property. Uh, you can still continue to use your um, UA property for the time being, but as we go along and we get closer to um, the GA4 uh, becoming permanent next year, uh, we wanna make sure we start installing or creating our events and goals so that we can start uh, tracking those as we get closer to the expiration of uh, Universal Analytics um, next year. So let's take a look. I have a generic uh, links and form page created on our demo site. So we're gonna show you how to create a, um, an event to track a link click for a telephone call, as well as a form fill uh, as an event and then also track it as a goal. So we have our uh, UA property open. We're gonna look into the goals here. And we also have our uh, GA4 property set up and we're gonna hopefully uh, be able to show you how to create events, track them inside GA4 and then also track them as conversions or goals uh, in GA4. So let's jump into Google Tag Manager. We already have our um, properties added to our, our container and our container is um, installed on our website. We showed you that in a previous video. So what we're going to do is create a new tag. Pretty simple. If you've worked in Google, Google Tag Manager, you know how to do this. So for now, we're going to create the UA events. We want to create an event. So let's take a look at the phone call. You can, you can name these anything you want. Um, I would say just be consistent in your naming conventions across uh, events so that they, um, you know, you, you know what they are when you're looking at them um, inside analytics. We need to select our um, UA property, and then we're going to set up the trigger as a link click. So go into choose a trigger, click the plus sign to create a new trigger. Trigger configuration is a link click. And this is pretty simple. Uh, we don't want to track all link clicks. We just want to track some. So click some, click our click URL contains pretty simple, right? Because if you look at the link on the website, once you hover over it, you see down at the bottom, it has TEL colon for the number. If you have more than one telephone number on your site and you want to track them specifically, you can add the full telephone number here or whatever the uh, link is um, on your site, but tracking TEL colon will track um, any telephone numbers clicked on your website. So let's name this. Click to call trigger. And then we want to name the tag. GE, uh, we were to refer to as goal event. So GE, click to call and save. Now, if we go and create this as a goal in Universal Analytics, it's pretty simple. We want to create a new goal. Uh, we want this as custom. It's going to be an event. And then basically we take that same information we put in here, category and action, click to call. And our first goal is created. Now to do this in um, GA4, it's a little different. You have to get the events firing first from Google Tag Manager, so I'll show you that in a second. 
So we have this done. Let's create the form fill. Again, this is going to be the universal analytics one. Creating an event. Choose your analytics. And now we need to set the trigger. So what we're going to do here is um, you can do one of two things, one of several things. Sometimes you can use the form submission uh, built in trigger type um, in Tag Manager. In some cases that may not work depending on the type of form you're using. So what we've done is created a thank you page. So once we fill out the form, uh, it will redirect to that page and we can use that um, thank you page view as the trigger for um, our tag. So we do some page views, contains, paste in our um, thank you page URL. Name your trigger. And again, name your tag. And then we would go back into Universal Analytics and create the goal here. Using the same uh, category and action we used when we created the tag in Tag Manager, save this and now we have two goals set up. Now I'm going to show you how to create the tags uh, for GA4 property. So we're going to do new, we're going to do tag configuration, we're going to use a GA4 event. We're going to select our uh, GA4 configuration that we've already added to Tag Manager. And then our event parameters, we want to add a parameter name. second. Using a cheat sheet from a previous one I did in a different container. So we're going to use event name and the value is going to be as our event name. What we're going to use as our trigger is that same click to call uh, trigger we used in the other one. You can use here as well. We want to name it something different so we know uh, that this is unique and different from the uh, UA tag that we set up. So now we have our click to calls for UA and GA4, and now we'll create one for the form fill. Again, we want to use the same page view that we used before. And save. I just realized something and I apologize. For the click to call, we actually want to use a different event name. It's actually link URL since we're tracking a link click. Um, so please bear with me, like I said. Um, all right, so now we have click to call and form fill for both UA and GA4. We want to submit the container. Publish the container. And now if we go out to the website, refresh the page, hopefully, fingers crossed, 
go into real time. We click on this link. We will see in events that our click to call has triggered. There it is. And our conversion as well. Showing click to call goal ID one as having fired. So let's take a look at the form fill. And we'll submit. We should get redirected to the contact form thank you page. And again, if we look at Universal Analytics events, we have the form fill and the click to call firing one event, as well as conversions and goals, showing one hit each. All right, so once you have your um, tags created in Tag Manager and your container published, you're gonna set those live. Once you start accumulating events on your website, uh, GA4 has a little bit of a lag. So uh, within 24 hours, they're gonna start showing up in your um, analytics settings. So if you go to configure, events, you don't see anything there, just wait a little bit, refresh. And you should start seeing your events popping up. Today, so we want to look at yesterday, and you can see we have our click to call as well as our form fill. Now, the way to create uh, what used to be goals, which are now called conversions in GA4, is you can just take either of these events that you're firing and just mark them as conversion. So we're going to toggle this or flag this to yes, turn this to yes, and if we go to conversions. should now see these uh, reporting. Uh, they won't show retroactively, so they're only gonna show moving forward. So any future events you have will start to show up as a conversion um, as well as an, as an event. To see this in your reporting, you go to reports, engagement, and then you can see your events. You can see there they are. Uh, the default ones that are in there, page view, user engagement, session starts, clicks, first visit, scrolls, and then the form fill and click to call um, are the ones that we have, uh, we created. So that's about it, pretty easy. Um, once you kind of figure out what you're doing, might take a couple tries to do it. Uh, if you have any questions about how to do it, drop a comment below or uh, reach out to us and we'll be glad to help you out. But that's gonna about do it for uh, this tutorial. Uh, we're looking forward to creating some more for you in the future. If you have any suggestions, please uh, let us know and we will be sure to try to address that uh, in future videos. Thanks a lot.